can see here on the screen, got a good photo, pretty clean, had a good clear, uh, clear day that day. I go and drag the water droplet tool over onto the screen. This basically just helps me get a good tint. It balances things out, so if something's a little more blue, it'll add in oranges and purples. You can also do it manually off to the side, and then adjust it and tweak it just a little bit. Next, I go into the hue section, and the hues is probably the most important section on underwater photos. It's really how you manipulate those blues and try to get skin color to, to pop back in. So I go through and adjust each one and uh, get the tone that I'm looking for and move on uh, to the next one. Once you get all of the hues down, you can go into saturation, adjust how saturated you want that specific hue. After saturation comes luminance, brightening, and darkening each individual color scheme. The overall look of a photo is really just dependent on your style or how you're feeling or what mood you're having while you're editing. I know if I listen to heavy metal music, typically I edit things a lot faster and a little bit more intense. Then I'm going to go down to the details page. The details page has a sharpening tool, a detail tool, masking, noise reduction. This really helps underwater and is a very powerful tool, especially noise reduction. If you slam it all the way to the right, you'll see it kind of gives the photo a very like uh, cartoonish look. Um, so be careful with this tool. This will help take out any noise. So if you have a lot of particles in the water, you can adjust this to help take those particles out and smooth the overall look of the photo. After that, scroll on down to the calibration tool. I go through and adjust each thing in uh, blue primary, green primary, and red primary just to get a feel for each individual look on the colors. Then you can see the before and after on this photo, a pretty clean look, I'm, I'm happy with it. I'm going to go over to another photo that I took same day, same dive, uh, same blue hue to the color of the water. So if you go back over, I'm going to go ahead and copy my edit from before. And what's good about this is whenever you have the same color of water from the same day, you can usually paste your edits and you get a fairly favorable result. Um, I'm going to go through and tweak this one. And then from there, I'm going to move on to an over-under photo. Now, as you can see, I pasted the settings back onto another photo, but there is dry land showing above water. It gets very different. So in order to edit an over-under shot, I take a different approach. You can't use the water droplet. It's going to skew everything. It's not going to look right, especially above water. So what I do is I go into my HSL. I adjust the hue, saturation, and luminance again on the photo, get a good color scheme for what I want. From there, I'm going to scroll back up and use the graduated filter. Take one from the top, drag it down, adjust the clouds how you want it to look, even maybe add a little bit of blue to the sky, and then adjust a graduated filter from the bottom to adjust the water color. This helps keep the two separated so you can get the desired effect on both above water and underwater. Gonna go back down to the uh, hue, saturation, and luminance, and just adjust it again until I get exactly what I'm looking for. And here's the before and after, and uh, I'm pretty satisfied with this photo. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I hope this helped. Probably not, because I'm an amateur, but hey, thanks for stopping by anyway.